Hey everyone. Uh, so I made a video in, with the re debate about atheism and agnosticism, and my position was, and still is, that whilst I think that most agnostics uh, are either theists or atheists, and a lot of them are actually atheists, the reason why they don't want to call themselves atheists is because, because of how atheism is perceived. And atheism isn't just perceived in a certain way like a lot of um, high atheists tell us because of us being misrepresented, it's because a lot of the popular culture atheists misrepresent atheism. Um, because if you look at the f four horsemen of the apocalypse, at least Sam Harris, Dawkins and Hitchens are all vehement anti-theists. Um, but they go around and they bandy this about under the banner of atheism. Now of course anti-theism is part of atheism, but it's not the only position and it's probably not even the dominant position, it's just the loudest one. So a lot of atheists, myself included, find ourselves dis you know, wanting to be more and more distant from the term. Um, and if it were just a matter of fighting the bad, the bad religious folks who are trying to make us all look bad, that would be one thing. Um, and I'd be happy to do that. But the problem is that uh, a lot of this, a lot of the, the, the misapprehension and miscomprehension is coming from uh, from these popular atheists themselves, who should just call themselves popular anti-theists and, you know, be done with it. Um, but, uh, as Jim the Pleb pointed out to me, there is actually a term for people like me, so I don't have to call myself agnostic or atheist. I can call myself an apatheist, and I think that's how you say it. It's a combination of apathy and theism, atheism. So it's also known as pragmatic atheism or practical atheism, which is excellent because who doesn't want to be pragmatic and practical, especially when you're a rationalist? Um, and it's defined as acting with apathy, disregard, or lack of interest towards belief, and here's the critical part, or lack of belief in a deity. So it's not it's not just that I you know that I don't care about your specific beliefs, it's also I don't really care about your specific non-beliefs um, and I don't really too much care about the atheist community. I might care about certain important shared goals like a secular society, like you know protecting the rights of uh, various minorities, like uh, you know making gay marriage happen and things like that. But more broadly speaking, any of those anti-theist goals that come with it, not interested. That's why I'm an apatheist. Um, and by declaring myself an apatheist, I actually, in my eyes, take power from you know from both sides. I I just refuse to see religion as this big force. You know, it's it's a big force, but I don't see it as a as a kind of history making force anymore. Not really. Not in the big sense. I think the forces that are driving all of the conflict. Um, you know, history is, uh, sorry, religion is a vehicle for them often. It's uh, often very intertwined with culture. Um, but I just don't think that religion has the power that people think it does. And I don't think it's worth establishing these huge uh, monolithic organizations to somehow fight religion. Um, that's, you know, to me that's a bit of a waste of time because we have a lot of more pressing issues and a lot of things that we could be addressing that require attention and time and money that are more important than whether, you know, the guy across the street believes that there's someone floating around or not. Um, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm an apatheist. Uh, thanks, Jim the Pleb. And if you're an apatheist too, then you know, let me know in the comments section. Or if you're deeply offended by the idea of apatheism and think that I'm a traitor and a no good kind of yellow chicken, then let me know as well. I'll see you guys all later. Have a great weekend.